Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a Mac haul. These are a few things that I ordered from the Mac website. And then also one item that I ordered from the Nordstrom website. But it's all Mac. There's not a whole lot, just a few things. And also you want to make sure that you stay tuned all the way through the end because there's going to be a surprise at the end. So I'll start with the item that I ordered from Nordstrom. And it's this right here, and the reason why I ordered it off of Nordstrom is that this is the one that's exclusive to Nordstrom. This is the 15 pan eyeshadow palette. They normally were $80, and MAC has had a price reduction, and these are now $65. And also, the little um, 9 pan little mini eyeshadows went from $40 to $32. And then on Mac's website, the single eyeshadows that you can buy that are um, by themselves in a pan like this that you can put into a Z palette or into a Mac um, eyeshadow palette where you can create your own palette went from $10 to $6. And then if you get a pro discount, the single eyeshadows end up being around three dollars and some change so they are trying to I think compete with some of the other makeup brands that are kind of along the same level of um, formulation and um, status is what they are and I'm talking about like Makeup Geek I'm sure they're trying to compete with them so anyway this is the one I got from Nordstrom only because it was exclusive to Nordstrom and the majority of the colors in here I do not have. I think there's maybe two, like this one here, which is um, Trax, I think. Is this Trax? I can't remember. Anyway, this little sparkly black one, I already have that one in another configuration. And I think this color here I have. But anyway, so I did get that from Nordstrom, and that's what it looks like. There's another one that's available that's new. It's the um, Mellow shades, but the majority of those shades I already have in other palettes or singles, so I'm not going to get to that one. There's a few shades that are exclusive to that palette, but not enough for me to warrant spending $65. So anyway, so I got that, and then the rest of these items uh, were purchased off of the Mac website. So they came out with a new nine pan and this is the Dusty Rose times nine and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes and it looks like this right here and the little individual shades there are about the size of a dime where the shades that are in this palette are about a quarter size. These are full size sizes, where these are like little minis. You can kind of tell the difference between the two sizes side by side. So anyway, which is fine by me because you know we hardly ever go through shadows anyway. So this was a new one. Like I said, this was um, Dusty Rose and I do have that on as my eyeshadow look today and then I also ordered in the times nine palette the purple times nine which was the only other one that I didn't have so I did order that one I'm trying to tilt it down so we don't get a glare off my ring light but that's what that one looks like very pretty I haven't worn this one yet um, but the Times 9 I've worn and the other one I haven't worn yet because I just got them in. Anyway, also from the website I ordered a eyebrow pencil. And this is called Lingering Eyebrows. And is that the color? I think that's the color. Is that the color? Hang on. Let me get my little magnifying glass and I can tell you lingering yes that is the color this is the eyebrows in the color lingering which is what I'm wearing on my eyebrows today it is one of the mechanical pencils that you twist up and 
then that's the color there. Let's see if I can get that focused. Okay. So I did order that one just to kind of try out the formulation and see if I like it any better than I do my um, my NYX little brow pencil. Kind of neck and neck, I think. Then also, I ordered this here. And this is the MAC False Lashes. And I actually ordered two of them. One for me and one for my daughter. And she was insistent that I should get one for myself. So I would really like it. And again, it's one of the lash primers. And I've been using it for a few days. And I'm still adamant in the fact that I just think this is an extra step that does not benefit my eyelashes so I'm going to be giving this little guy to her because she likes them so more power to her <laughs> on that but no I can't do it. Then I ordered a um, mascara and this is the Upward Lash Mascara in um, Upward Black and I heard um, Michelle from Makeup MLC talk about this and how it was her favorite. I used it today. Not that excited about it, but I never really am when I first use a mascara. So it's going to have to dry out a little bit. It has a little bitty wand on it, which I do appreciate very much because I do have small eyes hooded eyes and the bigger ones I always feel like I'm going to poke myself with so this was easy to operate so just not for sure about the formula so I got that and then I ordered one of the liquid lipsticks and of course I got it in red and this is the if I can get it turned the right way feel so grand in the retro matte and that's what I have on and there's the little um, applicator doe fit applicator it's a little bit flat and a little pointy on the tip and there's the color swatched beautiful color absolutely beautiful um, it's not as long wearing as my Rimmel um, Provoca lips. I don't think there's anything that can beat that formula for me. But anyway, <clears throat> I do like it though. So I did get that one. And then the last thing I got was this little brush here. And I want to kind of get up close so you can see. And this is the number 228, I believe. Yes, 228. And this is the perfect size if you have hooded eyes like I do, <coughs> excuse me, that you want to get right here in the corner or you don't, you want to put a lighter shade on your lid, but you don't have an, a lot of lid space. So it has to be you know, a very, very thin area that you want to put that into your lid space. This also I think would be really good for doing a cut crease. I have not had any luck creating a cut crease as some of y'all probably remember a video I did back where I tried to do a cut crease, a green one, and ooh, it was bad. It was bad. But anyway, um, so that one is that little brush and I really, really do like this brush. So anyway, those are the things that I ordered um, from MAC and now I want to tell you what the surprise is and that's going to be another giveaway. And um, what I'm going to be doing this time is one of these, the Times 9, and this is the new one, the um, Dusty Rose in Times 9. And I'll show that to you again. Looks like that right there. And also one of these brushes, the 228 brush, because I feel like this is something that everybody needs in their collection, regardless if you have hooded eyes or not. It is perfect for getting in the inner corner. Um, if you have a little lid space realty that you're working with, um, it's perfect for up here at the brow bone. It's just, it's a really good workhorse. So, in order to enter the giveaway, um, you must be subscribed, share the video, um, social media, and also make a comment 
below in the comment the question that I want for everyone to answer this time is I want to know what your favorite TV show is that you're currently watching now it could be something that's on Netflix it could be something on a regular TV um, cable whatever the case may be um, my favorite one there's several that we're watching right now but my favorite one that I think I really look forward to watching the most and that's Vikings on the History Channel I love that show love that show so that's my favorite TV show or series that I'm watching right now so let me know in the comments below what yours is and I will talk to you soon